Okay, what I'm going to do is since we're making all these little bird houses, we need to make some holes, some stands for them. That way you can leave them up all year. You can put them on your Christmas tree or whatever. But making this nice bend, turning a little base, uh, that's one way of doing it. I'll show you another way I did. This is kind of the rustic rendition of that. It's just a piece of wood, firewood, with a little limb, drill a hole, pretty simple. <clears throat> but you know, it, it's still trouble. This is quite a bit easier. This is a 3 30 seconds welding rod. And uh, what I do is cut them off about 12 inches long. And then once you have a 12 inch piece of the rod, I take it, this is the part that's going down to the wood, I just bend a, about a 45 degree angle on it. <clears throat> I made this little jig, which is just a block of wood, but I can insert that into this groove, and I'm gonna clamp it in place and bend it right around. So I put it, the clamp right on it. And then we can just bend it. Then we'll need to make a little curly cue on the end of it. Try to keep it straight because it can get bent in the wrong directions. You can fix it, but it's hard to, to straighten out. <clears throat> so now we have a piece that's uh, close to right, but have to tweak it just a little bit, make it a nice smooth curve. Practice makes perfect. This is, I hadn't done these very much. I drilled a hole in here, but trying to find the right size drill bit is a pain because it's such a small drill bit. So what I did, I took a short piece of the welding rod and just touched it to my grinder, just straight across on both sides. Here's one already drilled, but you can drill a hole with that <coughs> welding rod. So it's got to fit perfect. And then once you get it in that position, you can look at it, you can straighten it, you can bend it. That needs to be curled on around. Pretty good. And I'm trying to center this hook right in the center of that. That way it's not trying to lean or and you can adjust them and bend them once it's in this little hole you drilled and get them lined up like you want them. It takes a little practice. But then you can turn a little just a little wooden disc, drill a hole, you can paint them or texture them, burn them, do, do your artistic work on them. But anyway, that's a kind of a quick little thing. I've got one other way of doing this on the drill chuck, I mean on the uh, four jaw chuck. Okay, we have our little piece of uh, welding rod, the 330 seconds welding rod. And I've done this a couple of times. And when I put it in there, it's going to be bending the 
the insert into the wood the wrong direction, but I can fix that. But I'm going to go ahead and make a curly Q on the top with just some pliers. Hold it in there good. So we'll just turn it by hand, put a nice little bend in it. And that should do that. But we gotta bend the hook. The, the opposite direction. That's a pretty nice, you know, you're going to have to tweak it just a little bit. But, that, you know, it's, it's pretty quick and simple. Everybody's got a four-jaw chuck. Just put it in there, turn it by hand, then you're going to have to straighten it the other direction. But uh, that's pretty quick and simple. You don't have to make any jigs or anything. So. Where can they uh, get the uh, wire? They can probably get this at Home Depot or Lowe's in the metal department. I know any welding shop's got it. But uh, anyway, it's 3.30 seconds. You can probably use the eighth of an inch or so, but that's a pretty good size. <clears throat> okay, guys, what we're going to do, we're trying to come up with a mandrel to make these bird houses. I made one out of aluminum. A lot of people don't want to mess with turning aluminum. But you know, this way when you make a mandrel, it's up on your lathe, there's no vibration. You can get the both ends of it. Just drill a three quarter inch hole. But if you want to make one out of wood, you can do that too. I made a little jig you can take anything with a number two Morris tape or whatever your lathe has and just put it in a piece of scrap wood, just glue it, hot glue it one side in, slide the other side up, and then you have a, a, a template. You know if it's going to fit or not without having to take it on and off your lathe. I saved the time, I went ahead and turned a wooden one. <coughs> And what you do, once you size this to whatever size you want, I've been using three quarter, but you know, you can use a one inch, inch and a quarter, whatever size, half inch, uh, you, whatever size hole you drill, make a mandrel to fit it. But these work for the little bird houses pretty good. But you can see, it's not completely perfect. We're not making rocket parts. This is just to hold the birdhouse on. As long as you can put it into your Morris taper, tap it in there. Uh, I made this a little bit long because when you're putting the, the little birdhouses on there, <clears throat> you're going to dig into that and you can just cut it off and move it forward. So you can make them that last a long time. But uh, my friend Larry here come up with an idea. He had some of these four prongs uh, drive centers that he had a bunch of them and he wanted to utilize those for this Morris taper, which is a good idea. So what we're gonna do is just drill a hole in a piece of wood, just the end grain, <clears throat> epoxy it onto this four prong and then we can put it in our Morris taper and turn it for any size mandrel that you want. And uh, let me show you what we're gonna do. I got the drill press set up. We'll just go ahead and drill that hole. Okay, I've already center marked the uh, piece of wood we're using. <clears throat> just about a two inch square. Look about four inches long. 
And all we're going to do is drill down just enough to get this uh, four prong where we can epoxy it in there. So it's only about three quarters of an inch deep. So let's do that. Okay, now we're going to epoxy that, and we'll turn it here once the epoxy sets. Then we'll have a... Okay, what we're going to do, we epoxied this uh, spur center in to a block of wood, about a two-inch square, about four inches long. We're going to go ahead and use the tail stock. We always do when we can. We don't want anything coming apart. We'll just round this off. bar of soap really makes it uh, slide smoothly on your tool rest. Okay, <clears throat> we're going to do a three quarter inch size on this. So I use my three quarter open end wrench. Get my beading parting tool. And we'll size it with that. Make sure we're at the right size. <clears throat> okay, I just drilled a three quarter inch hole in a block of wood to make sure it fit on there. It doesn't have to be an extremely tight fit. If you need to, you can put some tape on it. This is just a little bit loose. What we'll do is just make it a little deeper, go back a little further, and make it a little. Uh, larger diameter.
Yeah, that's a good fit right there. So, on the ornament, you can even bring this back further and give you more clearance. I think I'll go ahead and do that. Okay. We'll run back. <laughs> okay. This will allow us to have more room to true the the edge of it up when we're working on it. Let me get rid of that. That's, I don't, don't like the looks of that. <laughs> it's the first time that ever happened to me. <laughs> Now we have a nice little mandrel. We can use to make a bigger size down here if we wanted to, whatever. So that's pretty quick and easy. Thank you, Larry, for the idea. <clears throat> what we're going to do next is uh, we got a. We got the sheet of paper. Why don't we show the sheet of paper that they can buy a uh, Morris paper okay. with a thread. Where is this from? Pardon me? This is it MS? No, that's, good. that's Amazon. Amazon, okay. I went to a couple other places like eBay and a couple other, and they were all within 50 cents of Amazon. Okay. So with free shipping, Hey. Yeah. In fact, in fact, I ordered one this morning at 10 o'clock, and they say it's going to be at my doorstep tomorrow morning. <laughs> no. I'll go. You can't, I hear you. Uh, so what I want you to do is talk about it. I'm going to be at full face, and then hold it right in front there, like that, and I will zoom in. To it, okay? Let me get this set where I know. Okay. I don't want to be. Go ahead. That, is that... <clears throat> okay, a lot of us would uh, like to use this metal Morris taper and make, make one like this. And if you don't have an extra one laying around, uh, you can order this Morris taper. I believe it's $10.99 free shipping from on Amazon. And you can get it with different screws. I think this is a quarter inch. I think you can get it in a three it's eighths a half inch. and a half inch. But uh, you can check it out on Amazon. It's just a number two Morris taper. And uh, so it'll be pretty quick and simple to epoxy that a piece of wood on the end of it. So <clears throat> another thing that you could do if you wanted to. You could wrap, turn a little recess in here and wrap wire around it where you know it wasn't gonna split since this is a spindle. So if you could wrap a little piece of wire, uh, put some glue on it or whatever, but uh, that'd protect it from splitting. But there's really no pressure on it, so that'll work, work fine just like that. <clears throat> 